So check this out, tech fans. NVIDIA has now said that there won't be any new 30 series GPUs until 2022, which means the market's gonna pretty much be empty for another year. That's the bad news of the day. But I guess kind of the good news of the day is that NVIDIA has also announced that they're gonna be making their very own CPU. That's right, not a GPU, a CPU. The thing is though, this CPU might not be exactly what you think because it's not really geared toward the x86 crowd in gamers, it's geared for a completely different market. So let's talk NVIDIA tech and let's talk Grace. Did you just build yourself a brand new PC? Or did you just upgrade your old PC but find you're in need of a Windows 10 key? If that's the case, your CD key has you covered. And buying, it's never been easier. All you do is go to the your CD key website, find the Windows software that you wanna buy, put it into your cart, enter the code TOT20, apply the code, save yourself some extra money, and as soon as you complete your purchase, the Windows 10 key will be in your inbox. There's no problems, it's really easy, and all keys are guaranteed to work, so you don't have to worry about losing your money, and you'll have a valid Windows 10 key to get your unit up and running. So yes, it is official. NVIDIA has announced that they are going to be making their very own dedicated CPU called Grace. Now, if you guys follow the news, NVIDIA made a bid to buy ARM a little while back. And even though the deal has been accepted by both parties, the powers that be just haven't approved all of this yet. So even though it actually is going to be a CPU that in the long run is probably completely made by NVIDIA once they take possession of ARM, at this point, it's kind of a joint venture. Now, this new CPU, there's not a whole lot of information about it, except for that obviously it's going to be a very fast CPU. And the funny thing about this is, is NVIDIA said that it took 10,000 engineering years to develop this new CPU. That's just crazy, crazy stuff. Now, this CPU isn't going to be an x86 based CPU, not one bit. This CPU is going to be based on ARM technology, it's going to be featuring NVLink 4.0, and no, I'm not talking about GeForce <laughs> at all. I know that it's, it's confusing because there's actually three different types of NVLinks at this time, so it gets confusing. But this is the one that's on the CPU side of thing. It's not the one for your gamers or the other one, so let's not get confused on that particular point. Now, some of the known things about this CPU, though, however, it's going to be 900 gigabytes per second CPU to GPU interconnect. Now, NVIDIA is really saying this will basically be the next big thing in servers. And with that, I'm sure we're going to see multiple CPU combinations as well, because we're talking about a server market, which means that all these you know, CPUs are going to have a CPU to CPU interconnect as well. Exactly what that's going to be when it hits the market, people, you know, we don't really know at this point. Obviously, the competitors in this particular market are going to be AMD with their Epic and Intel with whatever they're throwing out for their server CPUs at that time. That's kind of the common market, but NVIDIA is a big player in the game. They control a lot of different aspects of the market, and maybe the x86 market isn't something that they're really wanting to jump into right now since we really see amd taking the lead in cpu technology in fact i'll have another video amd just released some new 5000 series cpus um, and there's even a lot more news on the nvidia side of thing too they have released the a500 and a600 these are new video cards that are going to be replacing the quadro series video cards um, some information's just dropped about that as well um, for most people, we're probably not even going to be seeing these things because they're for workstations and stuff like that. Um, you guys know the Quadro cards are for people who are actually making games and doing 3D stuff, not for the people who are actually playing games. Although I do know a few people who have had a Quadro card who played games. It's really not geared for that whatsoever. Its specialty is for actually making and doing stuff. Now, 
Deep learning is something that NVIDIA has been heavily involved in for a long time. And that's really what these CPUs are going to be geared for. So we'll probably see grace in all kinds of engineering stuff around the world. And like NVIDIA said, I mean, it probably will be one of the next biggest things in the supercomputing world. I mean, what would really be incredible though, is if we get to the point where we're seeing quantum computing. Now that would be awesome. Quantum computing, when it actually gets developed and introduced in the market, will change everything. And I do mean everything. Quantum computing will change medical technology, it will change gaming technology, movie technology, even the possibility, like I said before, of actually even having a holodeck type of technology if you can get quantum computing going. But that's the news for now. NVIDIA, yes, they're releasing a CPU. Its code name is Grace. When it's actually going to hit the market and be available, who knows, it'll probably be a couple of years in development. And by that time, I'm sure NVIDIA will probably completely own ARM. So it will be a completely NVIDIA based product. This technology that NVIDIA is embracing is also not new. It's part of the Neoverse, which is part of ARM's technology. And there's also some other companies that are actually, you know, already using this technology. And these are companies that are big time in, you know, in the server environment. But when they talked about the Neoverse stuff, NVIDIA's name was actually up there on the screen along with them as well. So even though this technology, you know, isn't, you know, the absolute latest thing on the market, it's, it's been around for a little while. NVIDIA is definitely going to embrace this and hopefully make one hell of a killer CPU for the server market. Um, a lot of the stuff in the server market, people at home, like which I believe that most of my audience is, I would probably gander that at least 90% of my off, my audience, excuse me, is just an end user person. And even though I do have some friends who have a server at their house, most people don't own a server. Most people own a desktop and they log into a server somewhere and that's how the market is. So will you actually see the gray CPU in your home? You may never see it in your home. Will you use it at work? Will you log into it when you're logging into Google or any of these other places out there? Probably that will definitely happen. But things are definitely going to change anyways. This was just introduced the other day and in, and, and in the tech world, things change so fast, it's mind boggling. I mean, it really is. So, you know, this is cool news. I didn't really know how much, you know, of the tech audience that I have would really embrace a CPU from NVIDIA that really wasn't, you know, geared for them, the gaming, the gaming industry, but it's still interesting stuff and it shows NVIDIA expanding out in different directions. What would really be nice though, is to see NVIDIA make an x86 CPU that actually competed with AMD and Intel. But it seems for now, they're kind of shying away from that market and sticking with ARM technology. But if you guys have been really following trends, ARM technology is huge. It really is. And it's probably going to be the future for many things that aren't in your home. Probably all the servers and all the things out there in the world that aren't directly in your house will probably have an ARM type CPU because for those type of things, they're just absolutely great. And the market's growing and growing and growing. We've seen Apple introduce the first generation of their M1 chip. This is an amazing chip. It's what I use for doing editing. It's what the guy that you're, uh, the, the guy who edits the video that you're watching today, he edits on an, M, on an M1. So it's a really powerful technology. And it's really only what I consider to be in its crawling and walking stages. It's barely been taken off. Just imagine what the second generation of Apple Silicon is going to be. Apple Silicon M2 is going to be amazing. I mean, M1's great. M2 with double that power, phew, whew, I think the sky is endless for this. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, are you guys still excited though about a CPU from Nvidia? Because even though this particular one isn't geared towards you and me at the moment, it's still an introductory product to the market, which is like, you know, Nvidia dipping their feet in the pool and saying, okay, well, you know, the CPU pool seems to be kind of warm, so let's jump the frack in. And hopefully they'll dive in feet first and uh, we'll see some other CPUs on the market here very soon. But for now, hey, peace out. Thanks for watching the channel. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it's kind of short and sweet, but uh, that's what it is. NVIDIA releases the new Grace CPU, ARM technology to uh, 
an open market? I don't know, I guess we'll tell. Hey, I'd love to see you sub to my channel, but if you sub the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know that I am making videos. Also, if you wanna support the channel and you don't have any money, try Amazon Prime for free. I have a link down below. As long as you use my link, it gives me credit and helps keep me here on YouTube. And for a single dollar, you can support me on Patreon. So peace out. We'll see you guys back here for more tech on Tech of Tomorrow.